So Michael, help me understand how 5G is impacting the mobile backhaul network. Right, so essentially with 5G, right, you get new spectrum, millimeter wave, uh, that gives new requirements. Uh, in addition to that, you have new architectures with new interfaces. So that's basically will have an impact on a mobile transport network. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean for the routers? Uh, yes, uh, so uh, I mean, if you think about it, if you're going to get more radio spectrum, that translates into that the basements which are deployed there are going to have to deal with more capacity. And in reality, the majority of the uh, existing cell site routers don't have a one gig client port. So if you're going to reuse that same cell site router, you're going to choke off that basement, and you're not going to get the full 5G performance. So that's the first thing. The second thing is with 5G, you also get new architectures. Uh, for example, you have the split architecture. Uh, we're introducing new interfaces from the radio, so the enhanced uh, SIPRI protocol which is a packet interface. So that means that the south side routers have to be able to deal with different types of traffic. They have to be able to assign different quality of services requirements to those different traffics. Finally, you're also going to have different architectures. Uh, for example, one of the demos we're doing here is network slicing. It's not just slicing in the RAN and the packet core, but you also have to extend that slice into the uh, packet network, in other words, in the transport network. So you have to support things like segment routing. You all have a lot of great demos going on mm -hmm. here at Mobile World Congress Los Angeles. Maybe you can just give me an idea of what's new at the show. Right, so in the uh, uh, Router 6000 portfolio, which is the Ericsson Access and Aggregation Routers, uh, one of the new products we are uh, launching here is the Router 6273. That's a three rec unit high router. Uh, it's really optimized for the new 25 gig interface of high capacity aggregation for let's say the new CRN hubs. So it uh, offers 56 uh, 25 gig uh, interfaces, uh, 28 100 gig interfaces, but it's all in a very small compact form factor, only three rec units high, and it's fully hardened so you can deploy it even in the street cabinet. So when you consider the competitive environment in this space, how would you characterize Ericsson's differentiation? Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, it, I think what's unique about Ericsson is that Ericsson put the transport division under the radio division. And the reason is that uh, Ericsson knew that with the upcoming 5G and the deployment we're doing now today with 5G is that the performance of 5G is directly impacted by transport. And so we have a so-called Ericsson radio system. That means that it's not just the radios, but it's also the front hall, uh, the back hall, the mid hall, right, and the microwave products. They're all aligned. We have the same management system, the same um, ways of working, the same uh, auto turn up uh, features, things like that. And being also a RAN vendor is that we actually help drive the standards. So that means that we know the requirements which are coming up, and based on that, we translate these features right in our products. One example is that uh, one of the key challenges with 5G, what operators are finding is that with 5G millimeter wave, you have now the so-called uh, TDD uh, radios, time division duplex radios, which require time and phase. The challenge with time and phase is that if you lose the GPS as a sync source, you're going to lose those radios, right? You couldn't lose them in one hour's time. So you really need to find a new way to be able to have a network backup for your time and phase, which goes back to your MSO, right? So those are some of the features we have already implemented proactively, anticipating what the requirements are. So I think in short, you can say uh, Ericsson Transport is built by radio for radio to get a superior 5G performance. Very good, I appreciate you taking the time to walk me through that, Michael. Thank you.